Welcome to the Animal House, everyone. Today, we're gonna to take a look at how I hook up the Mixer 350 three-point concrete mixer to my three-series tractor. Let's take a look. Let's talk about capacity real quick. We've got a rating on the unit, I believe, of one-third of one yard. So that is not practical. Maybe perhaps if that was vertical, which wouldn't be an option to mount on the tractor, it could maybe hold one third of one yard total volume in the drum. But what I have found is the practical use it for this machine is one sixth of one yard of totally mixed up, ready to go concrete. When I do pours that are about two yards, it usually takes me 11 or 12 batches to get about two yards. So. Uh, that's what I have found. Now let's take a look at how it mounts. Here's a look at my connection to John Deere 3039R tractor. It's 39 horse, it's a 3 series John Deere tractor, a couple years old. So when I hook this up, uh, I had to use the very top setting right in here. So um, the reason that is, is you've got four different settings there, you've got three different options here, and then also on the tractor you've got three different pin option or pin placement settings. So what happens is this thing has to tip, right? It's got to tip this way. And when it does that, it needs to stay running because it's got to dump the load. And then you have to make sure that you don't bind anywhere. And most importantly, this PTO, this PTO length is absolutely critical. So what happened, let me start this tractor up here. Um, when I raise this up and down, so when I raise this, that PTO goes together, and then when I lower it, that PTO comes apart. So there's a fine line there where you have to have the PTO short enough so that you can raise it all the way up so that your material doesn't tip out, but you have to have it uh, long enough so that when you go down, it doesn't pull apart. So for me, I actually can't make that happen without a little bit of adjusting. So this adjustable top link is I have to lengthen whenever I go down too far. And then when I come back up with it here, when I come up, I know, and I don't let anybody else operate this thing, I know that when I get to a certain point, if I don't shorten this top link right now, I'm gonna bend my PTO shaft. So then I've gotta come up with it so that I, you know, I make that all work. So there's a little bit of user skill and, uh, you know, preparedness that has to occur there. Got it all mounted now. Let's talk about mixing. Okay, you can learn about your mix ratios on your own, but in general, three, two, one is a pretty good rule of thumb. If you want it to be a little stiffer, then you go a little bit less gravel. All right, it's time to get mixing. I, have, I already have the gravel in there. Uh, we're gonna put some water in before I put the cement in so it doesn't all stick to the sides. And then we'll put the sand in last. Uh, first time you get this thing going if you're only making one batch. You really got to make sure that you don't get it stuck to the sides. It likes to stick to the sides when it's fresh. Alright, I got the gravel and the cement in there. It's looking pretty wet. So now I'm going to put the sand in and that's going to, that's going to start working pretty good. I'm starting to spit out, you can kind of see that. So, 
Just gonna shorten that top link a little bit. We got a decent amount of water in there. All right, we got our mixing pretty good here. Um, what I've found is once it kind of gets on the side and it starts rolling over on itself, and you can look like it's got a good soup to it, obviously that's when the boat you're finished. You know, this is a lot of manual labor this thing saves. I don't really like mixing concrete in a wheelbarrow. I'm not saying you can't. This thing makes great concrete. All right, there's a quick look at the Mixer 350 on the John Deere 3039 tractor. I'm about to dump this out and shovel this into my form for a small project I'm doing. If you like the episode, guys, don't forget to click for me. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next episode of Animal's House.